What is going on guys? It is Aldo here at Zero to Mastery and today I'm handing it over to Amber to talk about AWS budgets and billing alerts. This is essential for staying on top of your cloud costs and making sure that your costs don't spiral out of control. Amber is a certified cloud practitioner, developer, and technical trainer with numerous years of experience so you guys are definitely in some good hands. Enough talking from me, let me hand it over to Amber to get you guys started. Once your application is out there and you're using various AWS services, how do you monitor your spend? There's two services we'll talk about here, AWS Budgets and CloudWatch Billing Alerts, also sometimes called Billing Alarms. But starting with AWS Budgets, this is just as it sounds, you create a budget to say, I only want to spend perhaps $10 per month for EC2 instances in my training account, and please send me an alarm if I go over that which kind of hints at this next point. With budgets, you can get alerted based on actual spend as well as forecasted spend, which is pretty cool. You can also filter by region and by service. So again, to my example, maybe I only want to alarm on spend for EC2 instances, but not everything else. And then in addition to setting up a budget for cost, you can also have budgets for usage, savings plans, and reservations. This is a newer service, so it kind of took what we already had with CloudWatch billing alarms and made it more comprehensive. And speaking of those alarms over on the right, these are going to be more limited than budgets. Here you're basically just using a metric for cost. You remember that we saw metrics in the CloudWatch section, things like CPU usage and so on. Cost is just another metric. But you can say, if I reach this threshold, send me a notification. So it's not really a budget, it's just an alerting mechanism. And importantly here, you can only get alerted on actual spend, not on forecasted spend. And there's no filtering by region with these alarms. Aldo here again. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're interested in getting certified, make sure to check out Amber's full AWS Cloud Practitioner Bootcamp course. Well, she'll dive into everything you need to know and even give you a 65 question mock-up exam that closely mirrors the one you'll be taking on test day. More information on that in the description below. But that's it for today and until next time.